Assalamu alaikum friends, Maraj Mohideen here. It has been some time, hasn't it? It's been a couple of years since my last video when I was telling you about this latest project I was working on, which was the Quran project with uh, my good friend Yahya Emrick. A lot of you have been emailing, or actually messaging, not emailing, some emails, asking what's going on with the project? Where have you been? Why, are you, why have you gone missing? Are you still alive? I'm still here. I've been working really hard on this Quran project. And I want to give you some updates and tell you about a new video series that I want to get through this Ramadan, inshallah. But before we begin, I want to show you what I bought. I have all these markers here. Look at this. We have a new video series coming. I went to the store, got all these supplies, new rulers, post-it notes, everything else. Why? Take a look at the overhead camera here. We've got a new setup here where we're going to do some teaching and talking on this beautiful layout right here. The only problem I have whenever I buy new markers is that I don't like using them because then they're not they're not going to be new anymore. So it's always like a it's always a challenge of mine to like start opening these things, but I'm going to do it. Okay, there. It's done. We've opened the markers and we are ready to get going here. Um we're going to have a blast in the next few uh episodes here because I want to bring you guys up to speed on what I've been doing and to try to get more people onto this Revelation Experience platform right here. So, before we begin in going into the teaching part of it, let's talk about some updates here. So, what have I been up to? Well, it's been a couple of years since I last posted and if you remember the last video, and I'll try to put a, a link up or something like that, I was talking about this project which was like near and dear to my heart and that was working on Yahya Emrek's Quran translation. He is the scholar and the historian who I trusted and trusted my book to when I was using translations. I looked at so many different translations and I really loved his translation and so I used his translation. And then after that, if you remember in the story, um, I reached out to him and said, look, you know what, your translation is so good, but I think we can take it to the next level in terms of checking it against all the other translations in terms of the production quality and everything else. And so I stopped the YouTube channel because that is the, the most important thing to my heart is like trying to get this Quran project done. And so this sneak peek, draft copy, not the final version, maybe not even the final cover, my friends, is Revelation the Quran. This, I could not be more passionate about this and more excited about this. This book right here is completely cross-referenced to this book right here. So it's a single learning platform. So there'll be surahs in here that'll tell you, hey, you know what, if you want for more information, go back to chapter here and do this. And this book already was set up to say, hey, if you want to read more about the surah, go to the Quran. So now you have the Sira, the life of the Prophet Muhammad peace upon him, and the Quran together in one perfect package, inshallah. So super excited about this. I can give you a sneak peek into this. Maybe I'll throw up some um, pictures, some graphics to show you, you know, this is what happens when you, when you read this surah, for example, this is what you're gonna see. I'll give you an example here. Let's look, turn to one of my favorite surahs, surah, surah um, Oh, here's a fun one. This is um, Surah An-Namal. This is about the ant. And this is the story of Solomon. And because we're talking about Suleiman, alayhi salam, Solomon, peace be upon him, and there's a story about how he invites the Queen of Sheba to come up. Well, where is the Queen of Sheba from? Well, look what we have here. This is the, this is the, the chapter on Suleiman, and we have, the verse, we have the verses in the Quran, and we have what? Of course we're going to put a figure in, because you know I love figures. So we have a figure from the Qur'an explaining exactly what is going on, where is she coming from, and the history of it. Over a hundred figures in this book, well over a hundred figures in this book, could not be more excited about this project. And inshallah, I'm hoping within the next year we'll be done with it. So I'm hoping late 2024, maybe 2025, I don't know. I always say, I don't want to give a year, I shouldn't have said that, because it'll come out inshallah when i feel like there's nothing more that we can do to bring it to the best quality possible if you have any questions about that you can ask me in the comments so that's kind of what's going on here is we have this book right here and this book right here but what i realized in the process of working on this over the last few years is i realized people have a hard time reading thick books right take a look at my book, and if you take a look at this book, this is even thicker. Now, don't get scared. It won't be this thick in the end, this, this bottom book. But it's a lot of material. It's a lot of important material. And what I realized is that people tend to get scared by thick books. And so, because of that, I have been working on a, I guess you would call a booklet 
that is called Revelation Essentials because I don't want people to get scared. And so if this was the original book, now I'm gonna make this book two and book three and there's gonna be a book one right here, which is smaller and much thinner. And I'm calling it Revelation Essentials. Revelation Essentials basically gives you the basics that you need to know to really grasp the Quran your timeline and to understand the basics of the Sirah, the life of the Prophet Muhammad peace upon him, and how the Quran was revealed throughout the life of the Prophet Muhammad peace upon him and set you on your journey to read this book two and book three. So it's kind of like step one, step two, and step three. Now, what about YouTube? Where are we at with YouTube? I miss you guys. That's just the reality. I miss uh, creating content. I enjoy putting stuff out on YouTube and being able to interact with people. And so what I decided to do this Ramadan is to kind of redo a lot of the videos that I've done in the past. And I'm gonna do it in a different style, in a different way. And uh, what I want to do is really focus on helping people get through the essentials of Revelation. And the essentials of it is really the Quran your timeline. And that's something that I'm probably most excited about of all of the stuff, all of these books that I'm showing you guys and so forth. The thing that I'm probably most excited about and most passionate about is teaching the Quran your timeline, which is that system that I came up with, that circular system that helps explain the Sirah, the life of the Prophet Muhammad and the Quran in one image, one graphic. And the reason why I'm always so excited about that is because whenever I teach that, people are like, wow, that totally like changed my understanding. It kind of like catapulted me 10 years forward and it helps put everything in place. And so what I really want to focus on uh, this month is trying to get as many people up to speed on the Quran your timeline. Because once you have that in your head, we have this common language which we can dive deeper into. When I say, oh, remember Quran year four, this happened. And by Quran year seven, we see this progression. If you know what happened to Quran year four and Quran year seven, we can like talk quickly. And this is what I call um, contextual fluency. A lot of people talk about Arabic fluency and that's really important to have for those of you who are going down that track of learning Arabic. But another fluency that we often kind of overlook is called historical or contextual fluency of when I say this is what happened in Quran year four, everyone is on the same page and says, oh yeah, I remember this is what happened in one, two, three. And by the fourth year of the Quranic revelation, this is where we're at. This is what was revealed. This is what was not revealed. And to have that contextual fluency, that's what the revelation experience is all about. And that's what I'm all about is trying to help people get up to speed with contextual historical fluency when it comes to the story of how the Quran was revealed. And that basically is the story of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. It's the story of the Sirah. So, without further ado, in the next episode, we're going to start diving into the Quran your timeline. Now, some of you may know this already. Fantastic. Uh, you can maybe hopefully join me and uh, watch it and, and review, kind of brush up on it. For those of you for whom this is new to, you can learn along with me. What we're gonna do is I have this new kind of whiteboard here and we're gonna draw this all out and I'm gonna go step by step. And if you stick with me, I promise you, by the end of this series, you will know this inside out. I'm gonna to try to keep the videos to kind of five to 10 minutes long, not too long, something quick that you can digest, review and move forward. The last thing I will say is one of the things that I really want to do is I want to give away the Quran your timeline to the world as accessibly as possible. And so for those of you who want to take notes or want to jump ahead in any of these videos, you can go to my website, therevelationexperience.com. And there on the very top, you'll see download this PDF for the Quran your timeline tutorial. If you download that PDF, you will have everything that we're going to about to talk about in the next several videos. It will be at your fingertips. You can read it. You can take notes in it while we're talking, or you can share it with all your friends. So please go and download the PDF, this free PDF of the Quran your timeline tutorial. Um, and you can always get more information about where to get uh, these other books that I'm coming out with or the status of, of the books and are they in print and so forth. So I hope that was exciting for you. Like I said, so much to talk about, really excited about this and I hope to see you on the journey. I'll see you guys soon, inshallah, assalamu alaikum.